we have the Page of Pentacles out here first. Let me get something with the Page of Pentacles. Trying to start something, trying to plant seeds. Oh, we got the Queen of Cups out here. This could be something with a child and a parent. It could be something where someone's bringing something to this Queen of Cups. Like a gift. Okay, we have the King of Swords. See, we got all these court cards. It looked like a child, a mother, and a father. A water sign, an air sign, an earth sign. Let me get something here. This is a lot of court cards here. And then we got the Ten of Cups here. This looks like a happy family to me right now. It looks like something real happy, something real beautiful. Like people working together, doing their part. Okay, this is too many, but let me see. Yeah, we got the Queen of Pentacles here. Seven of Wands and the Sun card here. Like someone fighting for something here. Hmm, or getting through some type of challenge or they're holding their ground, they're holding their own here. What is this here? Page of Cups, Hierophant, and then the Seven of Cups here. Hmm. Now that's an interesting combination here. This Page of Cups looks like, once again, somebody young or somebody that's trying to connect something. Somebody that's trying to connect with others through a means like connecting through like music or connecting through art or connecting through something but they have a title here they have a title i think it's somebody that's it's somebody that's very talented it could be a family that's very talented okay and they're all working together here or they all work in unison to make somebody's dreams happen i don't know who this is it might be this page of pentacles it might be the younger energy that's doing something and it's like they have such a happy energy i don't know who this is but they have such a happy energy and whoever this young energy is they do have some type of spiritual title okay everybody has different spiritual titles to be honest like they don't even really how can i say this not every spiritual title is known not everybody knows their true spiritual title it's like words are to intellectualize things that are already there or things that you feel like you created or invented right but like we have not found every word for everything because we don't know everything about let's say the soul we don't know every part of it so how could we name something where we you know what i'm saying but we have done a great job people have done a great job of finding these things and understanding these things but i feel like this is somebody here that they have some type of gift that they're sharing or they're going to share and they have some type of spiritual title is very serious like when a parent looks at their child and they be like man like I don't know how I got this child or how I got blessed with this child, but oh my God, it's giving that and it's giving these uh, these parents fighting for this child. Okay, I'm going to pick this up because I usually don't look at all them cards, but something told me I got to look at those. Let me get something here with this 10 of cups energy. Yeah, it's a lot of happiness here. Look, the world card. This is beautiful. This is like a family that like actually... <laughs> They actually work together. They're actually a unit. They actually, like, are really looking out for each other or for this child or for the interest of the child or the child's future, the future of the family, maybe rest in this child's hands or something like that. It's crazy. But there's a, there's a wholeness here. There's a completeness. There's a, like, someone really understanding their purpose in this life. And everybody's different, but the mother and father, they understand something deeply about this child that the child may not understand, but they're going to protect this child. They're going to protect him or her because they know and they understand and they get it. Yep. And we have the Six of Swords energy here. Let me get something here with this Six of Swords. That is amazing. Wow, we got the Ten of Swords here. It went from the Six of Swords to the Ten of Swords. So it's something here that's going to be like finished or it's something here that, oh my goodness, like when you leave mindsets, when you leave certain ways of thinking, when you leave certain ideas, like maybe somebody is going to grow up. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe this is about growth because it is the world card. I haven't gotten the new beginning yet, but the world card talks about what is within the ending Okay, the world card does not talk about the beginning of some shit, even though there's always beginnings after, you know, endings and all that kind of stuff. I get it. But there's something here that does need to end. It's something here that I hope I don't think it's a, the connection with the parents. I do not think so because of that Ten of Cups. I feel like because that Ten of Cups came after three court cards, I feel like that is a family. That's a unit. They feel harmony within that group. They feel the love here. But the world card is talking about moving towards something that it may be uncomfortable 
but it's going to end a certain way of thinking. And it could have something to do with a lot of this King of Sword because it is, and I'm not trying to put it all on the King of Sword, but it, it, it could have something to do with the King of Swords and how they operate or how whatever they learn or what they get into or what they understand. There's something here that must be understood. It'll be an asset to this team, this family. Let me get something here with this Page of Pentacles. Because that Page of Pentacles is going to be King of Pentacles one day. Maybe Emperor or Empress. Let me get something here. Wow, we have the Ten of Sword. Yeah, something is something about growth of the mind of this child or this person. It's growth of the mind. It is. It's leaving certain things behind, certain mindsets, certain ideas that are like bad for... Oh my goodness. And I hate to say that because everybody has their own idea of whatever these things are, but it's something about that page of pentacles. That page of pentacles will know whatever this is that they need to end. But it's a mindset. It's like they're growing up. You're going to have 10 of sword in your life, especially when you're younger. Like we grow so much. I don't know how young this person is, but they're coming off as younger. We have the tower. Damn, the 10 of sword and then the tower though. What the hell is going on here? This is going to be shocking. Whatever this is, it's going to end. A it's really going to end how they think of someone or how this person thinks or the idea maybe have come all the way to fruition or something like that. Usually that would be more about the pinnacles, but the Ten of Swords is talking about mental. It's talking about the end of some old idea. It's an old idea and it may end and it may be something that blossoms from that because you know after death it does life like life does exist exists after death it's something like that but it's like a mindset or or something that's written or communicated is going to change it's something you're going to move beyond that let me get something here with this or whoever this page of pentacles is yeah we got the knight of sword and i said it has something to do with this king of sword man it's giving that this King of Swords is like an educator or something like that. I don't know. It's giving educator and they're going to educate this child or something like that. Or they're going to teach them something. <sighs> it's, it's giving a lot of mental like stress, but I don't know if it's a bad thing. I don't think it's a bad thing. The way that these cards are coming out, because... Oh my goodness, there is positive and negative, yes, in every card. You can find it depending on the energy of this reading. And I just did not see this Ten of Swords as something negative. Usually I would. Like usually it's somebody getting cut off or somebody getting, you know, verbally cut up or some shit like that. And I got a confirmation on my phone. Maybe it's somebody getting some type of verbal lashing. Look, confirmation again, some type of verbal lashing or some shit. But this is weird. This does not coincide with this, this Ten of Cups. The whole family and the blissfulness and all that shit, man, I'm about to get mad because it's just like, what? It can't be. It can't be this, man, this was supposed to be a beautiful reading. And now I'm getting somebody like verbally abusing somebody because that's when my phone started binging and shit. Like when I was saying that and I'm like, wow, they might cut off this King of Sword then. I'm sorry to say. If this King of Sword was like verbally nasty to this child, this child ain't never going to forget that shit. And whoever this uh, mother figure is with the, the Queen of Cups, she is devastated too. She's devastated too. The whole thing, oh my God, everything that I was just saying is shattered. Like, damn, I thought this was a happy family. That's what it seems to be on the surface. But not with this Knight of Sword facing the Tower and the Ten of Sword, no. No. Mm -mm. There's something with this page of Pentacles. They're going to move forward. They're going to move beyond this. They are going to leave all of that abuse and all of whatever it is. It will change them. It will change their mind. It will change everything about them. This Queen of Cups knows that. This Queen of Cups could be in shock with something here. They could be in shock. Because it could have been something with this, this King of Sword or this Knight of Sword. It really could be their fault. Because I was, I mean, I I really, remember how I said I'm not trying to put it all on the King of Sword? Because maybe the Queen of Cups has a part to play in it too. Oh my goodness, that's so fucked up. How did I get all that good energy? And then it just came all crashing down with three cards. And that's why I don't say certain things 
before I see them. Because I was I was seeing everything I said when I said I, I see a, a nice family and they seem like they all love each other and it's they all work together and they're going to fight for each other. And this person is going to be, you know, they're going to do this and do that for the child and stuff like that. And then I'm getting this knight of sword and it might be like an abusive streak when it comes to something verbal or how someone they talk to the child or something like that. How they because that like don't think that you like hitting somebody is the only way to abuse them. Like, please don't think that because people say things all the time. You know, that's very abusive and it's just for no reason other than they just want to hurt that person. Like, I'm I'm scared that I'm not getting that this King of Sword is like teaching them a lesson or some shit. Like, that's probably their excuse. But I really think that this really will change this Page of Pentacles to the point where they grow up. They're going to leave that King of Sword alone. They're not going to speak with them. They're not going to talk with them. And this may, like, for this to be the tower and it's right on top of the, the Queen of Cups, I feel like, the you know, the Queen of Cups is water. And then I see the Ten of Cups. I feel like the Cups has been shattered. Like, the tower is like throwing a glass against the wall. A glass full of water against the wall. Like, really? I feel like something has been destroyed. Somebody's connection, the love of the family, all by this King of Sword. And whoever this is, they're moving away from this King of Sword. They're getting far away from this King of Sword. And maybe this Queen of Cups, possibly. Yeah, we have the Two of Cups energy here. Two of Cups energy, but it's underneath the Ten of Cups. Hopefully this is you finding somebody to like to heal with or find somebody else to be like close with or family. Because I'm seeing some type of unity here. I'm not seeing unity now with this family. I'm seeing a different type of unity with the Two of Cups. There's somebody here you are going to have that Ten of Cups with. But it's something where the King of Swords destroyed it. Like, I wasn't expecting that energy. I was not expecting that, but it's here. It was like, I was trying to fight it when I seen the Ten of Swords underneath the King of Pentacles, I mean, the, the Page of Pentacles. And I was like, that's just one, you know, on top of that. But then the Tower and then the Knight of Swords. No, there's somebody verbally abusive up in here. And that shit's going to end. That's what's going to end. That's what's going to end. We have the Queen of Swords here. Yeah with the world card that's going to end whatever this verbal shit this coldness that is so weird like what happened to the love i'm telling you i feel like that shit is gone and broken and done and all types of shit man we have the sun card here it's with the six of sword that's leaving something bad something turbulent that's finding the right answer that's doing what you got to do that's with the sun card we got the ace of wands here somebody's going to have the power to ten of sword this whole thing they may not have had the power when they were Page of Pentacles, but they're going to have the power after this World Card because the World Card also talks about maturity. It also talks about Saturn returns. So it's somebody here that may be called to stick up for themselves or stand up for themselves, okay? And I remember these three cards. It was something about the sev the Sun, the Seven of Wands. I forget the third card. I'm going to have to look at this reading. But it was something here with the Sun card. And now the Sun card is coming out here. This is somebody that's going to be standing up for themselves and their identity. It's something about this King of Sword. They tried to, and I hate to say it because I didn't see that. Like, they tried to shut this Page of Pentacles down. I don't know why or what happened, but they tried to shut this Page of Pentacles down and make it seem like, oh, it was just tough love or some shit like that. And this Queen of Cups is like in shock. She's having an awakening. She's having a fucking revelation right now because, or if this is happening right now, but I really think it is happening right now because the tower is here. It's a shocking event or something shocking that's about to happen. Or this whole thing, as far as somebody cutting somebody completely off, maybe that's what's shocking. Because the Ten of Swords is there again. It was like, literally, the Ten of Swords came out in a row. Because I got the Ten of Swords over here as the last card, and then the Ten of Swords was the first card. So literally, they came out in a row. Let me get something here. That's 20 Swords. Let me get something with this Ten of Swords. We got the Ace of Pentacles, and it's something here about an opportunity, something here about money, or a resource, a new resource that's coming in. What is this here? So they tried to cancel that resource, or they tried to shut that down. We have the Six of Pentacles, and not with the Tower. I think it was something about sharing some type of resource. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen because of the King of Swords, because of something that the King of Swords said, or how they asserted themselves, or what they communicated. Or what it could. I don't know who's who, but like it was something here that may have been heard. Yeah, we got the devil card. I told you. I told you. I knew it was them. So it, so this king of sword fucked up everything. 
they fucked up the whole thing. And I, I was saying at the beginning, like, I don't want to put it all on the King of Sword. But it's something here, like, they had to have started something. They did something here, man. They started something. It started with them. I don't know what this Queen of Cups has to do with it, but she's being devastated also. She's being hit also. She's not going to be able to get whatever this Six of Pentacles. She's not going to get that. The tower is above that. And the devil is right after the Six of Pentacles. It's not going to happen. What you going to... Like, Six of Pentacles is about give and take, give and receive. What you going to give a devil? What did the devil give you? You know what I'm saying? That's all you can give a devil back is what they gave you. You can't give them what this resource is. You can't share that with them. I don't know who that is. This might be somebody that's materialistic or some shit. They trying to get some type of fucking resource. They feel like that air sign fucked it up. We have the Seven of Pentacles and we have the Three of Wands here. Yeah, something... Oh my goodness, something that maybe someone invested time, they invested a lot of energy, they've been waiting on something, they've been working towards something, and they want to move forward with it, but they can't. Let me get something here with this, and that's what's shocking. And this is involving somebody that wants the money, or they want materials, they want the, the product, they want the, they want something here, they want the abundance, they're not going to be able to get it. Because they already fucked, they fucked something up, they said something. It was supposed to be Ten of Cups out here. It was supposed to be Ten of Cups out here, but they want to start with that Ten of Swords bullshit. And they fucked up their chances to get something because they opened their fucking mouth. That's the truth about it. And that's what that, this is what the Queen of Cups would say out of her fucking mouth. She would say that, okay? Excuse my language, please. But that's what she would say. She would be like, you opened your fucking mouth. If you had not opened your mouth, everything, this whole plan would have been fine. So somebody, somebody couldn't control their emotions. And they opened their mouth and they said something. And it could have been something about this child. This child could be talented or they could be exhibiting something. It's something here like that. And I'm telling you, this child not going to forget. They going to fucking grow up. They're going to stop fucking with this king of sword if this is a child. Or if this was just somebody that was trying to plant some type of seed. Let's say they tried to go get a job. And they was like, okay, I'm going to try to go get this job. It was something here where this king of sword opened their fucking mouth and fucked up the whole thing. Like they were trying to offer somebody less money. And they hear the king of sword come. Oh, did they offer you that $17, that $20, that $33 an hour that they had offered everybody else? And it's like, if you hadn't opened your fucking mouth, it's giving that energy. I don't care. This is somebody's story. Let me get something here with this two of cups because I'm seeing it here. I'm seeing it. Mm-hmm. They're like, nah, this is canceled. I swear to goodness, I must have missed this in the last reading because this came out, it fell on the floor and I picked it up and it came out reverse and I put it in a reading. But then when I end my readings, I usually just collect my cards and stuff like that, but I must have forgot and it came out again in reverse. Page of Swords, out of all these cards, for real, for real, out of all these cards, the card that, the only card that's in the deck that's reversed that I forgot to flip back over came out. Look at that. And guess where it's landing? Right on top of the Two of Cups. So you know you can't trust whoever this is that's trying to keep this connection because they said what they meant. They meant what they said. And there may be somebody that's trying to like backtrack or they're trying to like smooth things over. That's That could be the part of this Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups could be trying to smooth over what the King of Swords said. Okay? Because the king, the Queen of Cups, she might also be focused on some type of money. She might also be focused on something that's coming to you. But that's a whole fucking line here with this king, with this page of sword in reverse. Whatever, if they, if any one of them try to come back in your energy, it's because of, it's a lie. It's some type of deception. It's some type of manipulation here. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. It's some type of plan here. Also, this is the energy of gossip. They said something. Nah, fuck that shit. They be talking about you. These two people, see, that's the thing. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's what it is. And what's at the bottom? Okay, Knight of Pentacles. So it is about this, uh, it's about this page of Pentacles. So we got this Queen of Cups and this King of Sword. They be talking about you behind your back. But the King of Sword slipped up and said some shit. And it's also something that the Queen of Cups, they may agree with, but they didn't want that to come out. They didn't want you to find out about that or they didn't want you to hear that. But because this King of Swords said it, it fucked up the whole plan. These both of these both of these people was talking shit about you behind your back. Both of them. Both of them. So you can't trust neither one of them. Let me get something here with this damn Queen of Swords. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. We got the Four of Pentacles energy here with this Queen of Swords. Okay, yeah, somebody could be smart, they could be saving, they could be holding on to their money, they could be holding on to something here, or keeping something to themselves, okay, we got the three of pentacles here, yeah, with the sun card here, you won't even have to worry about that, it's so funny how the pentacles start coming out, the pentacles start coming out after I seen what really went down in this energy, or what really, really went down in this family, or what really went down in this community, that's when the pentacles start coming out, and that's probably when you get your pentacles, is when the whole truth and nothing but the truth comes out. That's when your shit will start coming in, and that's when they're going to start trying to come close to you, or at least this queen of cups. At least she's going to, I'm telling you, at least she's going to try to come close to you, and both of them was talking shit. 
Both of them was talking that shit. Whatever the King of Swords said, the Queen of Cups would second that shit, okay? But she just didn't want you to know about it. We got the Strength card here, Leo Energy here, okay? You will pass the test. You will overcome this, and you will cut them the hell off. And we got the Queen of Wands here. It's something about your energy, your strength, your courage, your confidence here, your determination, okay? They don't have nothing on that. It's, it's really giving Strength card for real, for real. Let me get an angel message here. See, they be playing and shit. They be gossiping and shit. Look, it says no. So I got to pull some more cards here. It says opportunity and change. They haven't changed. No and opportunity and change. They don't get no opportunity because they haven't changed. Like, I'm done. I'm really, really done. Look, I'm going to pull one more card for this no. <laughs> I'm going to pull one more card for this no. One more card. Let me, yeah, we're going we're gonna to put some reversals in here, right? Look. We're going to put reversals. Let me mix that up. Look, and the six of cups, it says, no, these people are not your family. They're not your fucking friends. And this was at a time I was trying to mix the cards up and give you some reversals and shit. And an upright card still came out. It says, no, look, nah, their hopes and dreams and their wishes and shit. That shit has, it's come down. Okay. It's even an energy. They didn't even have faith in you or some shit like that. And this is like, I got that energy all at the beginning. Like, oh, this is a good family. And oh, they looking out for you and they this and they that. And they're gonna. And that's exactly what they didn't fucking do. What is this here? The Knight of Sword. That same Knight of Sword underneath the King of Sword. This shows it right here. This show like what somebody said out of their mouth. That is very, very true. Or how they treated you or what was communicated or what you heard or what you got on your voicemail or a, a damn butt dial, a text. I don't care what fuck what it was. This person really done fucked it up for the both of them. And that's good. I'm glad they came out and said what the fucking how they how they really felt about the shit. Okay. I'm gonna leave this one right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.